an update on a missing woman in Maryland. Police holding a news conference just a short time ago with an update. News Nation's Emily Finn is live in studio with that breaking information. Emily, what have we learned? Well, Nick, the Hartford County Sheriff's Office just provided some updates on the search for missing Maryland woman, Rachel Morin. We were tuned into that press conference where police say they found a deceased woman near the Bel Air Trail where Morin went missing. And while they say they firmly believe this is Morin, they said that final determination will be up to the medical examiner. This has now shifted to a homicide investigation, but at this time, they do not have any suspects. Earlier today, they confirmed they found Morin's car near the trail's entrance, but have not yet released the identity of the victim they found or the manner of death. Police said the trail is now reopened, but urged anyone who may be in the area to stay cautious. If, if you see something that doesn't make you feel comfortable, if you feel suspicious about it, take out your phone and call 911 and let us look at it. Uh, let the men and women of the law enforcement respond and see if there's something to be concerned about. And Nick, uh, we are also following another related case. It is a missing woman in Maryland. Uh, she was a beloved teacher in the community. Uh, we have a little bit more details about her. The Greenbelt Police Department is looking for Miriam Sela, who was last seen near a park last week, where she too was known to take walks. Uh, that's what Rachel Morin was doing before she went missing. Police say that this is a critical search as Sela takes medication and the local community has been coming together to find her. Now, many of her friends and family attended a candlelight vigil and prayer event Friday night to spread the word about her disappearance. What we want are answers. We want to know what happened to her. We want to know where she is, and we want to know what authorities are doing to try and find her. We want her home safely, um, and we want her home safely yesterday. We will be continuing to monitor these investigations to find out what could have happened to these two women, Nick. And Emily, to be clear, police are not connecting the two, correct? Correct. Uh, they, they say that these are not connected. These are two very separate active investigations that they are looking into. Emily Fan, live for us this evening. Emily, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.